Welcome friends to Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-earth 2 Age of the Ring, an absolutely massive mod that aims to expand Battle for Middle-earth 2 drastically by adding new factions, heroes and maps, expanding the existing campaigns in the base game, and adding an entirely new one simply called Lord of the Rings. But it is anything but simple. Shout out to Mick in my YouTube comments for asking about a video on this one, it's not often that I'll drop everything to take a look at a mod that I've never played before, but hey, you won't know if I will unless you ask. Its scale impressive and its polish remarkable, something about Age of the Ring was just… different. Plus, it's been around 4 years since I played a game in the series, yes, that was back when I made this video in the channel's infancy, and with Battle of Middle Earth reforged somewhere on the horizon, it was about time that I got back up to speed on the franchise. And on that note, expect a review of the original Battle of Middle Earth not too long from now. But back to the present. Age of the Ring recently released its 8.0 update back in March, with version 8.1 following just a couple of weeks ago. And with those, besides possibly a few further updates fixing bugs and the like, Age of the Ring is done. It's complete. This is the final version, and the team is moving on after over 6 years of development. It's not often you see a mod as impressive as this one ever get finished. Usually they tend to just languish on ModDB until you either just stop hearing from the dev team, or they post an update like one or two years after the last one, saying that the team broke up and everyone's moved on, so it's honestly impressive that a project this large was finished at all, let alone to this quality and with this amount of content, and all for free. Let me be clear for anyone not fully aware of what Age of the Ring is. This is not your dad's RTS mod, okay? This is not a rebalance with some unit reskins and custom maps. This is basically an entire expansion, on the same level or above what came with the one official expansion that Battle of Middle-earth 2 did receive in The Rise of the Witch King. And it includes everything you'd expect from an expansion, perhaps even more than you'd expect. Starting with the basics, Age of the Ring brings the total faction count from 6 to 11, as well as moving them away from the good and evil distinctions in the base game, and instead splitting them as either free peoples or forces of darkness. Furthermore, base game factions such as the Men of the West have been reimagined into smaller, separate ones, so you can play specifically as Gondor or Rohan, for example. And a similar treatment has been given to most of the original factions. This allows gameplay to be far more varied across all of the different factions, as they are further specialised with new units and mechanics. Rohan, for example, obviously excel with cavalry and have a unique style to them in how they gain resources and produce workers. Like the original game, you of course have access to the iconic spellbook that was always one of the most enjoyable parts of playing both campaign and skirmish. Points are gained through combat, which are then used to unlock a huge range of spells that are different for all factions. There's been a bunch added in the mod compared to the original, so even veteran players should have some new fancy magic to fling around in violation of workplace safety laws. Like the spellbook, the hero roster has also been vastly expanded. With dozens of new ones added for all factions, I think the total number now is like 3 or 4x what was in the original, plus the abilities have all been reworked, so just like everything else in this mod, there's a lot of new stuff to enjoy just in this one aspect of the game. With all that out of the way, it's time to get into the real meat of Age of the Ring, the campaigns. Age of the Ring doesn't just bring its own new campaign, it also recreates both the good and evil campaigns from the original Battle for Middle-earth 2, while also retaining the full War of the Ring Grand Strategy Hybrid mode found in the base game and its expansion, both of which naturally inherit the changes and improvements that the mod brings to the table. So even if you've played them before, there will be something new for you to experience here. Despite those, the brand new campaign is easily the most impressive part of this whole package. Coming in with 20 unique missions and containing content from both the Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers, the amount of content here is staggering for a free mod, and the quality of it is just as impressive. There's cutscenes, voice acting, unique scenarios, like I said earlier, it's pretty much undistinguishable from an official expansion. Unfortunately, I did run into one issue with this new campaign, performance. Due to the number of units the game puts on screen, at times the game speed gets really slow. I would guess that this is an engine issue, just not being able to handle so many units, but yeah, it got pretty gnarly at points.
Besides that, the Lord of the Rings campaign is hugely impressive and it's a reason alone to boot up Battle of Middle Earth 2 again. Unfortunately for you Return of the King fans out there, which is of course everyone, the developers have said that that particular story won't be retold in Age of the Ring. The reason being that it's simply just a hell of a lot of work. This entire project has taken over 6 years and the content from the two towers alone needed over 18 months to be created. And the same goes for The Hobbit. What's in Age of the Ring now is all we're going to get, barring any unforeseen consequences. But that's okay, because what we have here is more than enough to satiate any Middle Earth fan for hours. Because when you're done with the linear campaigns, there's War of the Ring, as well as Classic Skirmish, which has never been better thanks to the faction, unit and ability overhauls. Lastly, there's multiplayer. If the campaigns aren't exactly your thing, or you're simply looking for something different, PvP and co-op multiplayer are available through community means since the official EA servers were shut down many years ago. The easiest way to take part is through T3A Online, and there's a guide available on the AOTR wiki, and besides that you could also use Game Ranger, which does require a few more steps to get running, but it's by no means a difficult process. Speaking of processes, installing and playing Age of the Ring isn't as simple as downloading and running a standalone executable off of ModDB. It's not that hard, but there are some steps you'll need to follow. I'm not going to go in depth here as there is a really great resource on the wiki which I'll link in the description, but I will give the top level run through to get you started. So obviously you need the base game, which thanks to it now being abandonware can be downloaded guilt free online. You'll need the expansion too, again links are in the description. You'll have to update both of these to the required versions and then install Age of the Ring version 8 and following that version 8.1 to be on the latest release. Like I said there's full instructions via the link in the description. I do want to point out that I did run into a pretty annoying issue that took me a while to fix, so hopefully my solution will help you if you're in a similar situation. The issue was that I couldn't find out how to actually launch the game, the desktop shortcuts to run it that the guide said would be created just simply weren't, and there was no obvious exe to run in the game files. The short version is that you can make your own shortcut, just make a shortcut to the Rise of the Witch King exe in the expansion files and then add these lines to the target and the shortcut properties. Provided you've done everything else in the guide right, this should set you straight. It ran with no worries for me instantly. Age of the Ring is seriously impressive. While I am a little worried it might be overshadowed by Battle of Middle Earth Reforged if and when that ever releases, for now this is almost certainly the definitive way to play one of the best Lord of the Rings games ever made. Except for maybe Aldane, but that mod is still in development and brings its own things to the table. Another video for another day maybe. If you're keen on jumping into the game, then there are links to everything I've talked about in the description, including the official Age of the Ring Discord, certainly the best place to be if you want to be part of the community and find like-minded people to play with. And if you'd like to support me and what I do here, then consider joining my Patreon or becoming a member here on YouTube. You'll join legends like Aero, Crazy218, George, Jack, Nutty Jawa, Overlord Jeebus, T Edits, Crispy Robo Chicken, XV204, Benjamin, David, Cynical Cheddar, Sebastian, Dakayo, David, Wintendo, Bad Ghosts, Sean, Grey Spirit 4, Peter, and my Paladins, Johnny Woof, Strateger, and Eric. Big thanks guys. And thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.